Hello everybody, welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Kino Der Toten higher round set up, so let's go ahead and get into it. So let's go ahead and start off with the training spot, just because I think everybody knows this stage is going to be the spot that you want to go to. However, if you're playing co-op, spawn also works. There's also a camping spot right where Double Tap is if you don't open the door inside. Um, but if you're playing solo or you're playing with friends, and you have the option use the stage trust me it is worth it it is it is the best spot on the map uh, hands down at least in my opinion now for the perks let's go ahead and just uh, move speedy into the perks you of course would want juggernaut and also widow's wine would be very helpful just so when you get into a sticky situation you can get hit with the widow's wine then you can use your thunder gun or your reagan mark II to um, you know get your widow's wine grenades back through the drops or even then just slow down the zombies so you can kill them uh, another perk you would also need is if you're playing solo you might want to have quick revive just so you can go down and still get b right back up and then also you may need a speed cola that that perk will also uh, help you out just reloading faster especially be with the weapons that we're going to use they do have a, a slow reload and you never know if you get in a predicament however I would also use an on the house or an unquenchable gobble gum only because another really good perk and if you're playing co-op make sure you get this perk instead a quick revive it is mule kick it allows you to have a third weapon on solo it's especially helpful especially whenever we actually go into the guns that you should use for this setup you're going to see why so speaking of the guns for the setup let's go ahead and get right into those so for the weapons you're going to want the thunder gun pack a punch it and turn it into the zeus cannon the zeus cannon it's just overpowered to all hell and i mean why wouldn't you want a weapon overpowered like that and now for your other weapon, you're going to want a ray gun mark II. You can also use the the original ray gun, however, it's not that good in Black Ops 3. I would personally suggest using the ray gun mark II, because that thing pack-a-punched is on a whole nother level compared to the ray gun, to the basic ray gun that we've come to know and love. Now for your final gun, I'm personally us using the KN44, however, if I had to suggest a weapon to use with Mule Kick, it would be the ICR, which is that wall weapon where the M16 used to be, or the it's the wall weapon uh, right next to power. You're going to want to buy that, and then you're going to want to go and get any pack-a-punch ability, just so whenever you get into the late rounds, you can buy ammo, especially for the ICR, or even the KN44, as the KN44 is right in the room, right across uh it's in the dressing room right across from the stage so it's really not hard to get ammo for either of these guns but you're gonna want a pack a punch ability like blast furnace or, or dead wire as those will help you uh minimize your usage of ammo and get to the hot and kill as many zombies as possible quite efficiently so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm really excited to play Kino. I'm going to try to get round 50, hopefully maybe soon, round 100. But I wanted to make this video first with some of the gameplay that I got last night. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more uh, Zombie Chronicles videos, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.